Tesla V4 supercharger power output to reach 350 kilowatts in one year. Tesla recently introduced new supercharging stalls, V4 in Europe and the Magic Dock built in CCS1 adapter in V3 stalls in the United States, but that's not the end of the changes. According to Marco RP, who tracks the latest charging news, within a year, the V4 supercharging stalls will be capable of providing 350 kilowatts kW of power instead of the current 250 kilowatts, like in the V3 version. Another thing is that V4 will also get a built-in CCS1 adapter magic dock to handle electric vehicles with Tesla's proprietary charging inlet named by the manufacturer NACS and CCS1 compatible vehicles. This change is, of course, envisioned only for the market where it's necessary to open the network North America, probably South Korea, and a few other places. In Europe, and in the majority of other markets aside from China and Japan, Tesla is using a connector compatible with CCS2. Got some new information about V4 confirmed yesterday. 1. As speculated, the CCS adapter will be built into the charger frame. 2. V4 will be capable of a 350 kilowatts output per stall in one year. In other words, the introduction of the Magic Dock V3 in the US, and the V4 superchargers in Europe watch a charging session here, will sooner rather than later combine in the US in the form of V4 with Magic Dock, and an additional power increase 350 kilowatts. That has important benefits. Compatibility with other EVs to open the network for non-Tesla EVs and a longer cable in V4 stalls to accommodate EVs that have charging inlets in various locations. More power means that charging should be faster at least there is potential for that, depending on the EV model. It will be interesting to see whether the 350 kilowatts power output will be a direct result of the maximum current increase or if the company will increase the voltage the photos captured at the V4 site in the Netherlands indicated 1000 volts maximum at the stall level. However, there is one more thing that we must include. Even if Tesla will start installing new equipment, it might take years to switch the network to mostly V4 units and then a little bit more to replace the oldest V2 V3 units. See also Hyundai Motor Group presents automatic charging robot for EVs Tesla reveals charging stats. Almost 2 million sessions per day source. Reposted and summarized from Mark Kane at Inside EVS.